Hi, my name is Derek and welcome to Spinetics tutorial on the Huggin software which is a photo stitcher that of course also does 360 degree panoramas and I'm going to, going to be showing you how to stitch a 360 equirectangular image using this software. The best thing about this software is that it's free uh, and it works pretty good. So I'm just going to run through it really quickly. If you haven't already, you can download it. Uh, just go to, uh, you know, just Google it, H-U-G-I-N, uh, and uh, you'll find it pretty easily. But uh, you're going to install it, of course, and go ahead and open it. Uh, when you open it, you're going to get something like this, okay? And you just want to bring your source images into the software. I'm a clicker and dragger, so there we go. And we'll get rid of that for right now. So now we have our source images in here. And there's, uh, let's see, the first thing that we want to do is, oh, okay, check for the X of data. Most, uh, most camera and lens setups now have this in the data file that comes with your images. Um, that is right in your images, I should say. And uh, this tells Huggin some of the specifics that it needs to be able to make a, a correct stitch. So, uh, some things that I noticed, and if somebody else has a better way of doing that, please let me know. But um, I want to make sure that the settings are on uh, Huggin CP Find, okay, and ge the optimize is geometric uh, positions incremental starting from the anchor image and we're going to be using low dynamic range um, so now that you have that in there the, f the next thing I'm going to do is go to the masks tab and I want to take out this this is where the you can see like the, the inner ring of the lens I want to take this out Huggin does not do very well when these black corners are in the photo. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to make sure I'm I'm clicked on one of these four images. We'll just start with the zero image and we're going to add new mask. Okay? And then with left clicked with your mouse, you're just going to add the points. Okay? So on the third point, right click kind of deactivates that uh, polygonal tool, okay, and then you'll see that your your first mask has shown up. Okay, so we're going to do it again with all four images on all four corners, okay? So, new mask, left click, left click, right click, new mask, left click, left click, right click, new mask, left click, left click, right click, Okay, and before I go too far, I almost made a mistake here. I want to point out that when I made this mask, which is right up here, I made the wrong ty type of mask. I made the include region mask. That's not right. It needs to be the excluded region. So that's good that I made that mistake because I can show you kind of what I'm talking about. But if you look up here, this says include region. Well, we don't want to include it. We want to hide it. So what we can do is we can just click on one of these, go down to here to mask type and just go to exclude region do that for all four okay so now we can go on to the next image we're going to add new mask left click left click right click new mask left click left click right click New mask, left click, left click, right click, and there's got to be maybe a faster way to do this. I don't know it, so this is the way that I know works. So hold on, I'll be right back. I'm just going to do the rest of the images so you don't get bored. Okay, so I went ahead and got the corners of all four images that we're using, and um, and just you know to go through, you can see the corners. We're saying do not show when you when we start to stitch these images together do not show these corners 
and you can see that they're excluded with red okay so um, so I think we're all set there uh, now the next thing that we're going to do is I don't believe we have any control points that we have to set we have to analyze and and set the control points so in order to do that we're just gonna go to edit run assistant okay so now this is where kind of the magic happens um, the system's gonna take all four images source images it's gonna line them up find matching features and, um, and set control points so uh, just give it a second let it let it do its thing and it looks like we're all set now what I do next is I go to view and go to fast preview window okay and that looks that looks pretty good um, uh, you can see that you know this is where the seams are and when that gets when we actually save the file and process it that gets kind of blended in so um, so we're looking pretty good here uh, the next thing that we do is, as long as everything went well and it should as long as you're setting up your camera rig the correct way uh, we can go to stitcher okay it's set on equirectangular remember that's the type of file that gets the, the complete 360 degree view okay and just to make sure we have this right this width needs to be two times as large as the height um, I just like to make this an even number okay so uh, and this should be 4500 and the, this should be zero okay so make sure you have those settings they match up or it's the file's not going to come out the right size. Uh, so let's see here. We have exposure corrected, low dynamic range. I I haven't really tried the high dynamic range with PT GUI, and I haven't really tried too much of um, HDRing bracketed images uh, with different exposures. Uh, I, I'm sure it's it's a great feature, but I haven't done it yet, so I'm just showing you what I know. Um, we'll have that in another tutorial. So I think I'm all set and ready to go. Uh, I just want to hit stitch. Okay, yes, we need to save this first. I'm saving it right in the same file. Yep, great. And now we wait. I'll get right back with you after this is done processing. Okay, I'm back. It just finished processing. Um, I didn't time it, but if I had to guess, uh, I don't know, it felt like maybe a minute and a half, so not too bad. Um, and this is our file, so it's just at first glance, it looks pretty good. And I see that there's a little something right there. That's not the stitcher's fault, that's the photographer's fault, that's my fault. Um, so let's just see it a little bit bigger here. Yeah, we'll just do preview. yeah, I don't see any glaring stitching errors. This can be taken care of. Uh, there's a little bit right there, but power lines are tough anyways. I've had to deal with those before. So pretty good. Like I said, this is a little wonky, but that's not the stitcher's fault. This uh, stitching is all all right. So. In another tutorial series, um, I think I'll put a link to it. I kind of go over editing the the zenith, which is up here, and then the deer to kind of finish this off. Or you can put the mirror ball. I made a tutorial for that as well. That's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, so that's the hugging. That's the quick uh, breeze through. Um, and um, thanks for watching. If you haven't had a chance, check out Spinatic. Um, it's a great way to bring your it's a community and also uh, a way for you to create virtual tours, making these, these guys interactive and uh, linking them and starting to customize the interface. So uh, thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.